guys welcome back to my channel I am Auntie D if you do not have already know aka Dusty and if you are new here welcome hit the red subscribe button down below and hit the little bell next to that to get notified every time I upload and keep up to date with my channels or videos <laughs> Anyways, um, it has been a very, very, very hot minute since I hit you guys back up. It is Wednesday the 7th? Yes. Wednesday the 7th, I am headed to therapy. It is usually on Monday and Thursdays, but this week they changed to Tuesday and Wednesdays. I did not go yesterday. I will explain more on that later, if I remember. <laughs> but Wednesday I did not go, mainly because my shoulder was hurting from things that have happened this, over this weekend. So I will explain more on those later. I don't want to get too much into that right now. I just wanted to film a quick intro because, <sighs> I'm sorry guys, I'm looking around because I'm in a parking lot. I'm in Kroger's parking lot to be exact. Uh, my sister is taking me to therapy today. So we are in, she's driving my mom's car. So we're in my mom's car, but she's the one driving it because she's had my mom's car for a few weeks uh, with everything that is happening with her father-in-law. So I'm watching out for her while like just looking around because I've always been like that in parking lots I get this weird feeling that I'm being watched so I'm just sitting in my car you know so I'm like looking around and stuff so I'm a little I get a little freaked out in parking lots by myself not gonna lie <laughs> but yeah um I am headed to therapy I will be there for an hour today is supposed to be my last day but we might schedule one more visit just because I did not go yesterday uh, but today was supposed to be my 10th visit, and on the 10th visit you get a checkup thing or whatever to see if you are progressing. And with my ankle just being a little bit of like tenderness there and there, they might say I'm progressed enough to like not come back or whatever, so I'm hoping we do that. And I can get started on therapy for my shoulder. Sorry guys, my shoulder started hurting, my arm started hurting from like holding the camera up. But I didn't want to do two therapies at one time, so yeah, I am... Uh, after this, I'm going to get in for my shoulder. I am sorry I keep cutting my head off. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for right now. Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> so, it has been a few days. Uh, I recorded Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, I think I recorded Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, I was gonna record after therapy, and I completely forgot. I got home, and I was so, I was in pain, so I just sat down and relaxed the rest of the day. Oh, this lighting is so bad. Oh, this lighting's bad, guys. I'm sorry. There we go. That works. That fixed it. Yeah. Okay, and my hair is a mess and greasy, as you guys can probably tell. I just, I've had a bad week. Okay, guys? So just ignore my hair and everything else. <laughs> um, yeah, it is Friday now. I, um, let's see, Sunday? Yeah, I think it was like Sunday. Uh, we came home from being in Marietta all day, or Ardmore, Oklahoma all day. And um, our house smelled like pot. Yes, and the way our houses are like made, uh, my neighbor's house is connected by this wall right here. But you see this wall right here that almost all, all the stuff's hang on. So when they got home that night, I can I went over there and knocked on their door and asked them about it because we had been gone all day, and you know it has a specific smell, so you know what it is. And they were like, "Oh no, it's not us. The only thing we've done is burnt incense all day in our living room." Because right there on that wall, that's their living room and kitchen area sort of thing. Just like ours is. My living room's right there behind the camera. And my kitchen, I'm sitting in my dining room. My kitchen's right there. So yeah, I was like, okay. Well, um, then your incense smell like pot. Blah, 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 blah. We started talking. I was like, okay, well just, can you move your incense to a different room? She was like, yeah, fine. That's fine with me. I'll burn a lemon, a lemon one in there. I was like, I don't care what you burn in there. I just don't want it to smell like that again because I have a one-year-old child I live with, you know? We live with a one-year-old child and it hurt my shoulder to smell that. Like, I thought my shoulder was gonna pop out of place again. I can't stand the smell of it. I can't even stand thinking about it. So yeah, <laughs> um, after that, my arm has just been hurting like crazy ever since that day. So I've been trying to take it easy and I keep forgetting to record and stuff like that. Um, Thursday was my last day of therapy. 
uh, for my ankle. I don't have to go back for my ankle. I went to the doctor yesterday for my shoulder. Or Wednesday was my last day of therapy for my ankle. I'm sorry, guys. Thursday, I went to the doctor for my shoulder. I talked to them about it. And he said that he's going to send the referral over for my shoulder. So I can get uh, start getting therapy on my shoulder. Uh, that'll take about a week or two weeks. Uh, just depending on like how fast they get the paperwork in there. Get it set and everything like that. So I... Which the therapist... Sorry, guys. The therapist knew that I was coming back from my shoulder. So, and I told them that I was going to go see the doctor the day after uh, my last day of therapy. So they were like, okay, yeah. So they are looking out for the paperwork. So I'm expecting to get in there pretty soon. Uh, but, let's see. <clears throat> oh, and, um, okay, I'm gonna talk about it now because it's done and over with. Uh, I was on social security disability because of my brittle bone disease. And, hang on, okay, I'm gonna fix this. Sorry, guys. Sorry that, like, made everything look weird or whatever, but I wanna fix this. It's bothering me. It's making my eyes look really, like, black. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> Bad camera quality today, guys. That's just all this video is gonna be is me messing with the camera, trying to fix the lighting. There we go, that kind of works. Okay. But, um, I went to, um, McKinney, I think it was, a few weeks ago. I showed a vlog for that day, and, uh, I went up there to appeal the case, and so I could stay on Social Security with disability, because, um, I can't hold down a full-time job because of my shoulder, and especially now my ankle. I have to go over a few years to get my ankle uh, the screws on my ankles like tightened or loosened or whatever the hell they have to do or replaced or whatever, you know So they have to go in there every few years and fix that so uh, I can't hold down a job because after there after surgery, I'm off my foot for at least three four good months with PT and everything So that there's that and then with my search <laughs> With my shoulder now, they are wanting to do the therapy first, see if that doesn't help. And if that doesn't help, we'll do an MRI to see how that's, uh, if, how everything's looking up there. And, um, go from there. And the doctor said that we'd possibly have to do surgery on my shoulder. Which I am not looking forward to because, I mean, yeah, my shoulder is a pain in the ass and it hurts all the, day, all the time. But surgery is just one of my very last, like, resorts because I am just, you know, I'm that type of person. I've been through the surgery before. I know how it affects you, blah, blah, blah. My uncle had surgery on his shoulder a few weeks back. He's had surgery on both of his shoulders now. And he's had two on one of his shoulders because the surgeries just aren't working. So I'm worried about it, you know? And my uncle's like, get the surgery over with now. You'll regret it if you wait till you're older and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I don't, you know, I just don't know. <laughs> Like, will I regret it when I'm older or will I, like, be, like, thankful that I didn't do it because it'll just, it's going to mess me up in the future. Because with my job that I have, I have to have my arms. You know, I work on a computer all day. I, my job is computer. I work on, I sit behind a desk, I work on a computer all day. So, yes, I need my shoulder. I need my, to be able to move my arms. I need this function, you know? So, yeah, I mean, the sling does, does limit me, of course, but... Surgery would limit me more because I wouldn't be able to move my whole arm. My whole arm would just be like this, you know, like attached to me for God knows how long. With the ser uh, therapy and everything else. And if the surgery didn't work or didn't do something right, they'd have to go back in there again, you know? So, I keep saying you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This vlog is going to be a rant vlog because, yeah, I just, I have some ranting to do. And it's been a few days and I've built it up. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I just don't know what to do. Uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions on what I could do or like a different approach we could take for it because I just, you know, I just don't know what to do. Um, let's see. There's hair on my arm. It's lovely. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to go to therapy for that in a few weeks. Uh, with the disability check, they took it away. They said I have 10, they sent me a letter in the mail saying I have 10 days to appeal it again if I want to. But in the process of appealing it, I'll still get my check. And after they uh, go through it all and decide I'm not, I don't, I'm not 
disabled enough to have a check anymore. I have to pay all that money that they paid me in those few months back. So it just doesn't seem worth it in the long run, you know? Like paying more back than I'm gonna make. <clears throat> so I'm just going to say whatever with it and let it the dice roll where they may. And then I have to call my insurance company and try to figure out what I'm supposed to do with that because losing my social security disability is also going to kick me off the insurance. So I tried to get a hold of him earlier. He did not answer. I am going to try again after, well, I don't know what, what even time is it? I don't even know what time it is, guys. I think it's like noon. So I'm gonna try to call him in a little bit, again, about one, two-ish, because it's after lunch, so he should be back from lunch and everything like that. I called him like 11-ish. So he might have been heading out the door to lunch, honestly. If any of you guys do not know, I am a tax preparer four months out of the year. I, um, this is going to be my second year as a tax preparer. But this year, instead of working only 20 hours a week, I can work as many hours as I want. Except for when my job restricts me, you know. <laughs> when my actual managers restrict me from working. But I'm probably going to be able to work almost every day of the week. So I'm going to love that. I will have to find a... a time to record videos and stuff which i really i will be able to of course um if you guys want to see like a tour of my office when we start or before we start or like the decorations that i do for my office when i buy them i can bring them home and do it or i can try to do a tour of the office i mean i don't think it'll hurt anything i have to talk to my boss about it and like figure out what the restrictions are for that because i mean you know i don't get in trouble and get fired because i'm like recording in the office you know so, I will call her or I will ask her whenever job, the job starts and stuff like that, how everything's going to be. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is that my mother is going to be, is my manager. Like, my mother is my district manager sort of person. So, <laughs> it kind of sucks, but it's kind of cool at the same time, you know? Anyways, um, back to the main topic at hand and I, if you hear that guys it is my phone case because as you guys know i record on my phone and my phone is on the tripod right now so the way it's like recording i can't have the case on while i'm recording because of this little gadget so yeah oh and if you guys have not go buy your cases your uh phone cases from best buy because they have the best otterbox cases i have dropped this phone so many times and it has not broken. And it's a glass screen, glass bag, you know, everything. So if you guys have not, go buy your cases from Best Buy or at least make sure you buy an actual like OtterBox case. Like not the off-brand OtterBox, no. Actual OtterBox. I live by OtterBox. I love their cases. I love this little gadget right here. What's it called again? Pop socket, yes. <laughs> I love the pop sockets. I. I can't have a phone without a pop socket on it. Like, I just can't do it, you know? I can't, I can't function if I don't have the pop socket on the back of my phone case. <laughs> and the screen protector on my phone, I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but it is a, a lifetime guarantee screen, prote screen protector. So as soon as it gets like a crack or something in it, I can I, uh, take the screen protector off. I uh, smell it into this company, the company where I got the screen, or where the screen protector is made or whatever, and they mail me one back for free. My whole life. Love it. Yeah, screen protectors are expensive and they break really easy, so definitely loving that. <laughs> and I, told, I told you guys before, I don't remember if I uh, said down here or if I said it on an Instagram story thing, but I know how to, um, be able to record on my phone or my camera and still edit on my phone i have to go to either walmart or best buy and buy a sd memory card reader i think that is what it's called i think and um i have to buy it from there and then i can hook the memory card up to my uh into my phone thingy where i put uh my charger and i put this memory card in there and it'll import the memory from my camera to my phone so I'll be able to upload um, I have all the footage from my Memorial Day on my phone now except for the very like beginning the intro 
so I'm not knowing what I don't understand what to do with that I'm confused on whether I want to do anything with that or like what so if you guys want to like see it and I just record a different intro let me know down in the comments below if you don't care still let me know your opinion matters your opinion matters guys I want to hear from you guys y'all are my subscribers I want to hear what you guys think I want to know if you guys even like watch my videos all the way through if you guys are still here right now like the video if you guys are still here right now like this video I want to know if you guys are still here if you guys still even care about my videos <laughs> um, and please comment and let me know what like video you would want to see i really want you guys to like let me know what kind of videos y'all are into what kind of videos y'all want to see and i will try to do those i really want to do that um i know next year not this year i'm uh, gonna start buying stuff this year during tax season and stuff but i won't be able to like do the giveaway so next year but i want to do a, s a school giveaway so um a back to school giveaway i'm going to do it like either I might do like three or four backpacks, honestly, because I can do two little kids, boy or girl, and two like high schooler, middle schooler kids, boy and girl, you know? So I want to do that, so got, let me know if you want to see one of those. If not, I, I mean, I'm going to do the giveaway, so um, I don't exactly know what day I'll do the giveaway. Let me know what day y'all guys like start school so I can, I don't know. I'll do this next year. I'll record this next year. Why am I doing this now? What am I doing? What am I doing in my life, guys? Like, <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do a back to school giveaway next year because the school's already basically started this year, and I haven't bought anything for the kids or anything. So, let me know the best place to buy cheap, good quality things. It don't honestly have to be cheap. It just has to be good quality. I want to get you guys really good quality stuff for your kids or from your nieces and nephews or whatever. So let me know down below where is a good place to go uh, and get good quality products for schooling. I heard that Big Lots has some really cool like notebooks and pencil holders and stuff like that for like six bucks. Uh, I heard this from Micah. She is another YouTuber. I will leave her uh, video where she mentions that down below. Her and the kids go back to school shopping and it is so cute. Her children are adorable and I just love her quality videos. She has cleaning videos, organization. She just had a baby. He is three months old, I believe. No, 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 no. About, yeah, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think he's still a newborn. I'm pretty sure he's still a newborn. He's in the newborn stage still. And she... He is just the most adorable thing. She is a mother of five. Um, so I will leave her video down below with you guys. Go watch it. And like, I don't know. If you guys go watch it or anything like that, um, comment down below and let her know I sent you. She doesn't know who I am or anything, but yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know who I am, but you know, it'll get me some. It'll help me in the YouTube world, honestly, to get some more YouTubers to know that I'm a YouTuber now or whatever. And that I love their videos. <laughs> So I'm going to leave her down below um, and I'll also leave a few other YouTubers down below that I watch if you guys want to go check them out. Um, Brianna K and Brittany I believe are um, more cleaning people. Uh, they do cleaning organization uh, and just day in the lives. And then the main YouTubers that I watch and will forever watch because I just love their content and I love watching them. They are amazing. Um, is Baby K uh, OK Baby and KK Baby J. I will leave their channels down below too. They are all just day in the lives. I mean, they do randomly throw in some like random weird videos of like cleaning or something like that, but it's just their content is amazing. Uh, KK and Baby J try to upload every day. I think they said they're gonna take uh, start trying to take at least two days off to where they can just spend time with their kids. They have three boys, Jackson, Landon, and Sutton. Sutton is a very big, chunky monster and I love him so much. Oh my God, his cheeks are just so pinchable. <laughs> and okay, um, okay Baby, they she has 
they have three children as well. Oscar and Kira are the main like parents or whatever. And they have three children, uh, Levi, Alea, and Avery. I almost forgot her name because they, always, they never say her name, honestly. They call her uh, Teeny. So I almost forgot Avery's name for a second. Because <laughs> they try to call her Teeny to get her, uh, the other children used to calling her that because that's her nickname. Uh, it's supposed to be Buggy, Sissy, and Teeny as their nicknames. But I love their, con I love both of their contents. I love their channel. I love that they upload real life, day, day in the lives. Um, <laughs> they're so real about things. And they also have little side channels. I know the girls do. I think uh, Oscar, Mor Oscar has one too. I think it's like Oscar Morales or something. But I'll try to find there. I'll try to like link all the videos that I watch down below because I want you guys to understand why I became a YouTuber and like what was my passion behind it. And these people were my passion behind it. I wanted to do cleaning and organization videos and stuff like that. And I will do even those eventually. But with my shoulder the way it is right now and it hurting all the time and everything else, it's just easier not to. And to like let it rest and try to fix it before I like do a bunch of stuff and then make it worse, you know? <laughs> but I just want you guys to understand like what was my reasoning behind the... What was my reasoning behind becoming a YouTuber? What was my passion behind it? You know, like why? The reasons why I became a YouTuber and these people are the reasons why. I love their content. I love their videos. I love that they make you feel like you're like actually in their house home or like with them. They bring you into the stories and you know like they pull at your heartstrings in certain videos and make you literally want to cry. <laughs> they are so sweet to each other and none of their content is like fake or like you know any like that thing like that like they're not faking their love for each other on camera and then turning the camera off and like not talking as much or not being as lovey-dovey as much no their content is all real i love their channels <coughs> uh kira from okay baby she has a side channel and and she also is the business owner of okay uh baby by kira that's what it is baby by kira which is a baby blankets and I think she has some clothes coming out too. I love the print of her clothing. She even has little like teething rings and I just love the like prints that are on her clothing and like there's like little lemons, little leaves. I just, I love it. So I will leave her Instagram for that down below and her channel as well. And from KK and Baby J, Kira or Kieran. Karen has a, uh, another channel, so I will leave her channel down below as well. She is, in her other channel, she basically just talks about, um, her new business. Uh, she is a, which is called Kick-Ass. <laughs> uh, it is a workout sort of thing where she, like, she'll post inspirational workout videos and stuff like that. So I will leave her channel down below. She does clothing hauls, um... They do a lot of different things, honestly. Like, you'll just have to go, like, look at them and find out exactly, like, who has the product, like, content you're looking for. Not product. <laughs> but I love their channels, so please be sure to go check them out. And if you do and you like their videos or even if you don't, leave a comment down below telling them that I sent you to go check them out. Make sure you mention Auntie D and family. You can even leave a link to my YouTube channel down below. Say this person told me to come find you or whatever and come look at your channel so they know who I am. I am would really appreciate it. I'm just trying to get out there and get to the YouTube world and like make YouTube friends, you know? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's vlog, guys. I know it was a big old ranting thing and it didn't have any correlation with anything. And everything was just thrown together and I just wasn't thinking or wasn't, I don't know. I just threw a bunch of things in here, guys. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if, you, if you have not already, hit the red subscribe button down below, especially if you are new here. And be sure to turn on the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified every time I upload. No, it will not spam you. It just notifies you when I upload so you can stay up to date on my new content. And... As always, hit the red or hit the big like button down below if you did not like it. Do not give it a thumbs down. We have talked about that. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me, let me know what you did not like about it. 
and I will try to fix it for my next video. Thank you guys. Have a good day.